Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Preeti Sharma and I'm here to discuss a very important topic with all of you, especially for the FMG exam and that is going to be a topic of the special stains related to the pigments. So you can see all the pigments and materials that are deposited in one column and how I'm going to correlate that with the stains that are important in the respective column. Okay, so let's begin without wasting any time. Number one, melanin. Everyone is aware of how melanin is present in the skin, in the hair. So what are the three stains for melanin? M for melanin, M for mason, Fontana. Further also remember Fontana has the word tan, so tanning of the skin. M for melanin, M for mason, Fontana. Then melanin is also going to be learnt as another stain for it called the small stain. How did we learn that? Small has the word mole. Mole is pigmented with melanin, right? So that is how we learn the second stain. And HMB45 again has an M, so we get another way of learning it. Repeating, M for melanin, M for mason, Fontana, small stain and HMB45. Coming to the next one, lipofuscin. How do we learn that? Lipo will always remind me of lipid or fat. So oily is always lipid or fat. Oil, oil is fatty, right? So lipofuscin is oil red or positive. And lipo word reminds me of fat, so fuscin, fast, which is the stain which is telling me about acid fastness, that is the ZN stain. So remember lipo, lipid and fuscin, fast, ZN stain. That's the old age pigment, which is a very, very important question. That's a pigment you get usually above 80 years of age. Coming to the next one, hemosiderin. So when would you get hemosiderin? Hemo, whenever there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of hemorrhage, there's bleeding happening. And whenever they use the word sidro tells you that there's iron in the situation involved. And what is the special stain for iron? Pearls or Prussian blue. Coming to the next pigment, that is copper. Now, I think everyone knows that when I'm talking about copper, I'm talking about a disease called Wilson's disease. And how would we learn copper? Copper ends with an R and the names of the stains are going to begin with an R. That is rhodonine and rubianic acid so rrr a very famous movie i'm sure all of you have seen it by now rhodonine and rubianic acid coming to the next one glycogen a favorite with the girls why do i say that because it is stained by something called pass now if you remember from your general pathology well p for pass p for pink what color does this stain give it gives a pink color so pink is a favorite with the girls right so that is how i've learned girls glycogen so P for pass, P for pink, favorite with the girls, glycogen. Coming to the next one, for fat or lipid, I'm sure everyone knows, I've already told you that for fat, there's something oily called oil red O. And other than that, there's another stain called Sudan black B. So O-R-O-S-B-B, oil red O, Sudan black B. Coming to the last one of this table, and that is calcium. And that's a very interesting way of learning. See, look at the way you learn calcium, the entire word calcium. The stain that can definitely be asked is calcine. Sounds similar, calcium, calcine. Next, the way you pronounce calcium, calcium has a K sound, right? So, cosa, cosa also has a K sound to it. So, calcium, cosa. And the next two alphabets, AL, means here I'm going to talk about something called AL, that is alizarin red S. So, one cosa, calcine and alizarin red S, which basically means that my entire table is complete. And let's do a 1 minute 60 second quick recap. Melanin, what are the stains? We've got Mason Fontana, Schmoll and HMB45. For lipofuscin, we've got lipo, that is oil red O, fast, that is ZN stain. Coming to the next, hemosidrin, to do with iron, pearls or Prussian blue. Copper, RRR, rhodanine and rubianic acid. Glycogen, favorite with the girls, pink color, that is pass. Fat, oil red O, Sudan black B. And finally, three stains for calcium. Calcine, cosa, that is one cosa and alizarin red S. Well, with that, we'll wrap up this very quick you know and a very although quick but something which was very significant as I said a topic which is a favorite with the examiners and I could expect two or even more questions from the same table itself I hope you found it useful any comments or feedback please free feel uh, feel free to add it below and if you want any more topics which should be covered in a similar manner also do write that down to me thank you for listening guys all the very best